All right, what's going on, dudes? Welcome to a Minecraft map called Chasing Time. It's about time travel and stuff. I don't know, let's just play the thing and see what happens. What the heck is going on here? Uh, it's powered. Should I be... Hold on one second. Let me just get that, uh, let me just get that chat a little bit bigger. Uh, it's powered. Should I begin? Uh, yes, proceed with neuro implementing. Uh, what is happening to me? Fabricated memories and intelligence have been inserted. Am I being, like, operated on? Uh, all right, power it down. Dr. Laurel, take it from here. What in the heck is going on? Whoa. Hi there. Uh, where am I? Dr. Laura says, hello, Matt. My name is Dr. Laura. You must be confused. After all, you were just born today. What, what, what do you, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, don't worry about it now, Matt. The answers will come in due time. Uh, when the doors open momentarily, uh, please enter the room to your left. Which left? That left? Uh, subject 159 resting chamber. Is this the... The door to my uh, my left is a very um. Hey, Doctor Laura, how how are you doing? Well, oh, this is freaking fancy stuff right over here. Um, staff rooms. I guess I'm probably not supposed to go in there. Accelerator hallway. Probably not supposed to go there. All right, let's head over here, maybe. Huh. Subject neuro implementer. What is this? Uh, this will be your room. I know you have questions now, Matt, but hang in there. Uh, the answers will come tomorrow. Okay, get some sleep, Matt. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, I had no choice in the matter. Um, Chasing Time by Vu6. All right, uh, good morning, Matt. How was your sleep? Uh, it was, uh, never mind that. Come on into the corridor. I have something to show you. I have an objective to meet with Dr. Laura. Okay, you, you at over here? What's up? Where are you at? What corridor? This looks like a corridor to me. Maybe over here? You're not authorized to enter this area? Okay, staff rooms? Maybe you- no, you're not authorized to enter this area. Dr. Laura, where are you? Dr. Laura, excuse me, maybe I need to go back in here. Back to where I was just born today. No? Okay, maybe, uh, maybe- oh, there was another area over here, right? Yeah. Probably out over this way. Oh, okay. Sweet. So there are a lot of other test subjects over here. Hopefully they're not all dead. That would- so oh, hey, how's it going? Welcome, Matt. This is the lab's most prized creation. Uh, to put it plainly, it's a time machine. Okay, uh, a time machine, but I, I, I thought they were just a work of fiction. If I was born today, how would I know what a time machine is, or how to even speak English? Dr. Laura, <laughs> giggles. I forgot that the uh, knowledge we gave you doesn't include this time gem. You see, it isn't possible to accelerate anything um, uh, anything that accelerates, or uh, that abides by the laws of physics past the speed of light. However, theoretically, if something were to travel faster than the speed of light, time itself can be reversed. I'll wait for you in the vessel chamber to your right. It will be easier to explain the rest there. Enter the vessel chamber. To my, which right? What right are you talking about? I don't know what right, where's right and what's, is this the vessel chamber? That's the vessel chamber. So is this the time machine? Oh, that's the time gem. Wow, that's very fancy. That must be really expensive. It would be a shame if I were to accidentally break it because I'm a newborn baby and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Goo goo. Nah, nah, nah. I don't know how to speak English. Whoa, is that? This machine grows vessels that contain the time gem in them. Every cell in a vessel has gem time gem particles in Am I a vessel? What is the, yeah, dude, what's the time gem? Can you explain this to me? The time gem is something that doesn't abide by the laws of physics. Oh, that's convenient. Very convenient. It's found two years ago, six years after the virus outbreak. Huh. Okay. A virus outbreak is in a zombie virus? Uh, yeah. Oh, we go. Why do we know all these things? Weird. I was just born today. <laughs> I guess you can put it that way. It was a rapidly spreading parasite that corrupts the brain. This lab was built to grow a vessel that could travel back in time using the time gem to stop the virus from happening. So I am a, I'm not a human, I'm a vessel. I was born today, and my internal organs contain time gem. Huh. Yes, you were the first vessel we could grow without any physical deformities. Because you have the time gem particle in your cells, you're the only person that's capable of traveling to the past. All right, then, uh, let's get to work. Why don't we? Uh, we only know the general area where the virus started. A machine isn't smart enough to judge what the best course of action is to destroy the virus. Matt, I don't want to pressure you into doing this if you don't want to, but you kind of have to because we created you for it. We're just going to shut you down if you don't. Um, I can't have you risk your life for something you've never known. I could care less about those. This is my like internal monologue, but uh, I'll do it. Yeah, why not? 
I'm not doing it for some- no, guys. Uh, I'm doing it for- wow, I've fallen in love already. I'm doing it for her. Okay. Uh, really, that's great. I can't tell you how happy I am. Go get some rest. Your training for the time travel will start tomorrow. Oh, we're back in bed. Okay. Really? Uh, it's already a love story. I've become uh wait, what the heck is going on? Yo, what the heck is happening? Ah! Uh, foreign organisms entering the lab. Uh, enter, exit the room. All right. Don't mind if I do. What the heck just happened? Oh, dude. Are we being assaulted by the vi- Ah, uh, Matt. Matt, can you hear me in the loud? Dr. Laura, what, what's happening? Listen, I'm in the central control room right now. What's going on? You need to get to the time machine right now. It's, it's bad. There's no time. Hurry. Well, there is time in the time machine. Wait, okay. So, is this the time machine here? Where's the time machine? Uh, is it back where we... Hold on. Is this openable? This is openable. Staff, I guess we're going in here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Things have just gone quite terribly. Uh, I can't go this way. Okay, there's zombies. That's bad. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe I can make this work. Oh, take the axe in case of emergency. This is probably a good idea. Operation viewing room. Brep! 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 I'm a professional combat fighter subject. Oh, dude, we have, like, things to read about. Oh, but not right now. But not right now. Please leave me alone, you evil zombies. I'm here to take you out in the past. That's a crazy computer, though. Look at that. Okay, go up the... Go up to the yellow stained clay. Time to axe that door. Yeah, I'm gonna axe that door. Question. Ah, there's no power to this door. What the heck? I need to direct power from the red pieces to the green piece to open the door. I can do this by rotating the wires. Okay. So I need to just go like that? Something like... Which is the starting point? I'm assuming the starting point is the green. So we go like that. And then we need... We need to go like both ways. And then I gotta jump, I suppose? I hope this is right. I hope I don't have to completely reverse everything that I've just... Did I do good? I did do good. Sick! I can miniaturize myself and go into circuit boards and open doors. God, I'm a friggin' awesome individual. I'm an awesome vessel, I should say. Dude, anyway, subject 125. Growth complete, deceased. Uh, subject 125's body has many physical deformities, and thus has been considered a failure. What about you guys? Um, very minor physical deformities. Prospects look good. Implementing was unsuccessful. Looks like this is blank. Okay. What do we got here? Really happy that Subject 159 was a success. We were able to create it through a rapid growth machine. Sped up cell growth. I think I'm going to call him Matt. Feels too inhumane to call him Subject 159. Matt is a person, not a machine. And I will treat him as such. Oh, man. What a love story we got going on. So I got to save... I gotta save the future for Dr. Laura so we can all be together ever, ever, happily ever after. Okay. Oh, is that the time machine? Ah, uh, subject neuro implementer. Dr. Laura, I'm coming. Oh, thank heavens you're safe. Oh my god, look at all the zombies. What's gonna happen now? Right now, I need to get you through that time machine. Holy crap, dude. They're all gonna... Oh no, what about you? I'll be fine, Matt. Now listen very closely. Oh my god, I'm gonna die when you go through the machine! You'll, you'll arrive near a lab! The virus serum is in that lab and you must dispose of it before it makes its way outside of the lab! Huh. Do that for me, man. Wait, wait. I'll start firing up the machine! But, Dr. Laura! Don't be scared, Matt. But Dr. Laura, I'm scared for you. I'm scared for you. I'm not scared for I'm, Yeah, that's exactly what my internal monologue is saying. The machine is starting up. Oh god, do I have to get it? Matt! Take this. What is this? A time device. It will allow you to go back to the future. Good luck, Matt. Oh, I'm in the machine. Take care of me, okay? Wait, talk to Laura. I... Don't worry, Matt. Oh. Huh. What's happening? Are we going... Oh, no, they're breaking through! Dr. Laura, no! Oh, God. What is this? These are the timelines. Whoa, you can read my thoughts correct. My AI is programmed to be compatible with you. All right, uh, brace for impact. We're about to re-enter the time stream. Oh my God, what's happening to me? Oh no, it's, oh God, we're, okay. Holy crap, yo, what the? Hey, are you all right? Oh dude, I don't feel so good. What, where am I? Um, We're in Stan Gary Village, eight years prior to our time. It can talk? Correct. My AI allows for independent. Uh, th then you must be super smart. I think I'll call you Einstein then. 
Wait, am I talking to my AI? Uh, Einstein says, I don't believe that. Wait, are you? You're Dr. Laura. Huh. Doctor, hardly, but my name is Laura. Oh, man, eight years ago, she wasn't a doctor, I suppose. Alrighty, then. Hey, I don't know who you are, but uh, I need to get back. Oh, she has teleporting abilities. That's pretty crazy. Okay, meet me in the barn. Okay, get to the barn. Hint, the barn has a spruce wood top. Ah, that looks like a that looks like a barn over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over to it. And so wait, then we're gonna freaking we're gonna fall in love in the past. And then what if we get back to the future and then she doesn't remember us? And I'm and 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 oh my god, this is gonna go for a loop. Uh, come upstairs. I'm on the second floor. You can sleep here tonight. You're awfully kind for some random mysterious person who just randomly appeared in front of you. I can't have my dad knowing that I snuck out again. <laughs> I, I know it's not much, but no, 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 it's just fine. Thank you. I guess I'll sleep on the hay. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah. How do you know my name was Laura? Uh, yeah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you the real answer, so lucky guess we'll go with that. Oh, okay, well, good night. Uh, Matt. Yeah, Matt. Good night, Matt. All right, you and your freaking teleportation. Why do you... Why didn't you go back in time if you can teleport? Anyway, you aren't going to tell her? I don't want to drag her into the time travel mess, you know, and it won't change anything, and she probably won't believe me. So, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night, Einstein. Unnecessary. Just accept it and sleep, you time to... Oh, my God! Hi uh, you mind telling me why there's a young man in our barn, Laura? Dad, don't be rude. His name is Matt. I found him when I put out last night. Uh, So you did go out last night, huh? <laughs> Anyways, you there, Matt, whatever, come to the fields and help me out, I could use a hand around, I'm freaking, I need to actually do some stuff here, like, my mission's to save the world, I don't really have time to plow the fields, alright, sir, exactly, I have a mission, I, I need to save the, hey, you slept in my barn, so you help me harvest this field, alright, here, they can meet me in the windmill when you have a, a stack of wheat. Time device says, don't worry, we still have approximately until night time before we must take action. Till night, huh? Alright, collect 64 wheat and go to the windmill. Okie dokie, can do. I'll go ahead and do that. Don't you worry, that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. Dad, you could have done this like real, real fast, but instead you decided to be a lazy individual. And I have to save the world, so, um, you know, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Alright. Dad, I got your wheat. Uh, good work for your first time. Hey, check on Laura for me, will you? She worries me sometimes. She's always wanted more from the world. I try to tell her that what we have is enough, but there's no change in that girl's mind. Okay, I'll go talk to Laura in the house. <laughs> he's, just, he's very trusting of us, I suppose now. Um, hint, the house is beside the wheat field. Uh, probably this one right here, I'm assuming. The one place we haven't gotten into yet. Uh, and, oh, but not those two. I guess we're in, like, a little village. The bird chirps are pretty cute, too. Hey, Laura, how you, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Hey, Matt. Matt, you ever think there's so much more, more to the world than, than we see? Uh, there are billions of people in the world, each with their own experiences and memories, and zombie viruses, and, and apocalypses, and yet... We're insignificant in the stream of time. In a few hundred years, will anyone remember me anymore? Matt, meet me at the house down the road on the third floor. I want to show you something. All right, we're just teleporting all over the place. Um, head to the next house has stone brick top. Meet Laura on the third floor. All right, then. I don't know why you need to break into someone's house to show me something to do with time, unless you made a freaking time machine, which would be pretty crazy, actually. So, what up? Uh, what's this? Um, this was the house of our used-to-be neighbors. Now, my dad and I are the only residents of this village. Um, and when I was one, uh, and when I was one there, oh, when I was one, there was a depression, and everyone ended up moving out. Dad refused to leave because Mom's grave was here. Sometimes I'd go up here and wonder what li lives people used to live here. Did they like the smell of flowers? Did they enjoy the smell of the wind? What lives do they live now? What life did you live, Matt? Uh, what life I lived, I, I wouldn't call it fulfilling, but it, it gave me a purpose to live. I've been alive for a day now. It's pretty cool. Um, gave me someone that I wanted to protect in the few minutes I knew her. Um, gave you someone that you love? Yeah, yeah, um, something, something like that. Was she like your loved one? Yeah, yeah, she's, um, pretty kind. Always determined. She had long hair. Oh, boy. Uh, beautiful eyes. 
and she wanted to change the world. I see where this is going. Um, time device says, Matt, we need to leave soon. All right, so let's probably do that. Laura, I need to go. Wait, go where? Uh, save the world, you know, just, um, this is for the one I love. And only I can do this. Um, you can't tell me where you're going. Um, to, uh, you can't tell me, uh, what you're gonna do, can you? No, I'm sorry. Matt, promise me you'll return. Goodbye, Laura. Take care of me, okay? Objective, head down the road to the source of the virus. I have... Yeah, it's taken far too much time. Okay, let's go ahead and actually do what we need to do. Why are we cutting it so close? I don't know. Uh, I guess for love, dude. Gotta, gotta do it for the love. Is this the lab over here? Um, hopefully so. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of trouble not saving the world. God, wouldn't that suck if I just, like, wasted too much time in the barn and then, oops, the world's over. Bah, bummer. But at least I got to talk for a few minutes. Okay. This is the place, but there's nothing here. Oh, yeah, just use your axe to break the middle bottom bookshelf. And then we're going to have some... Ooh, boy. Would you look at this laboratory? Whoa, someone managed to hide something like this in here. Be careful. I do not have any information about this basement here. And thus cannot provide help for you. What do we have here? It's not my fault. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. We're in Umbrella Corp now. It's not my fault. She was just there. I didn't mean to know. Stop lying. It's the truth. You meant to. Stop. What the? Don't avoid it. No, she was my daughter. I would never. Your murder. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You are. You killed her. She can't talk, walk, speak. She can't remember. No, no. You, no. Uh, it, I'll bring her back. I, I can. I'm a scientist. I'll do it. I'm not crazy. Don't look at me that way. This is for her, not me. What is happening over here? There's a little bit of blood on the floor. Okay. Damn it, this brain is useless. Who are you? Oh, hi there. Ah, uh, it's probably one of the villagers. I guess you'll be my new brain then. Uh, whoa, 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 nope. Hey, hey, you did, holy balls. Yo, this is unnecessary. This is very unnecessary, what's currently going on. You guys do not need to be doing. Wow, this dude's a little bit crazy. This dude is crazy and I do not like it. Can you all please just, hey, you can't get up here, can you? Ha, ha, that's pretty, that's a shame. That's a bummer, and you're all dead. Yeah, that's better. All right, Doc, why are you doing this, dude? This is this is madness. This is part. Uh, uh, why doesn't anyone understand? I'm just trying to save my daughter. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna ruin the world too. In the same time, is that so wrong? I, I understand, but but you understand? Don't screw with me. Have you lost your daughter because you weren't paying attention? No, she can't move. It's she can't remember fans Is that your daughter? Is, 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 Jesus Christ. It, is, is that your, that's Dan, but that's not your daughter. Okay. Um, she can't live a normal life because of me. One slip of the hand on the steering wheel and I ruined my only daughter's life. So tell me, how in the world do you think you're going to understand that? You're right, I can't, but, uh, you're going to destroy the world, so, um, you'll never know the pain of those who are going to suffer because of what you were doing. You're going to lose families just like you did. You don't know that. I could just, like, take him out. Um, Einstein, I needed to bring us to the future. Wait. W oh, we're gonna go back and forth here? Oh, God. Going to the future is most likely a one-way trip. There's no guarantee that we'll be able to survive or find a time machine. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. I know that, but I need him to understand the consequences of his action. Why don't we just... Killing him would be the safest decision. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. But it's not the decision Laura would have wanted. So I'm gonna ruin the future just because I don't want to... Oh, boy. Oh boy. Well, well, uh, what are, where are we, dude? Yeah, we're in the future. Eight years to be precise. Don't lie to me. My experiments could never cause this to happen. Yeah, they did though, bro. It, it already did that. Yeah, you messed up, bud. Every one of those people down there had a family. Don't yet. Don't you understand that now, dude? You're gonna lose their daughters just like you did all because you were being a stubborn pain in the ass. Not too late to turn back though. No, you're right. I messed up. My daughter wouldn't have wanted this. But now we're going to be like, we can't go back into the past. She wouldn't have wanted for thousands of innocent people to die for her life. Oh, my daughter was an angel, you know? You, you know? And and, and they spare time, she, she'd have she had be spent helping those in need. Oh, what have I done? What's happening? Uh, because the doctor isn't going to create the virus anymore. It's causing a paradox. Oh, God, we need to go back. Timeline is self-destructing. Oh, that's bad. Uh, there being no virus meant no reason for you to be made, and thus no way for the 
Doctor to change his- What the heck is happening? Timeline compensates by self-destructing. We're still here because the time jam allows us to exist outside of the timeline. We're getting pulled into a new timeline. Oh my- Oh, yo, what's up? Oh god, Laura, are you okay? Is the virus gone? What virus? Oh, it doesn't- uh, You're scaring me. Who are you? What virus are you talking about? Oh god, dang. Time travel has always, like, messed with me, dude, because no one- no one knows how it would actually work. So, in this timeline, there's no virus. Huh, that explains why she doesn't know me. Hey, uh, I don't know who you are, but have we met somewhere? Yeah, we- we have. Uh, I wouldn't call it somewhere. I'd call it sometime, but we- we've definitely met before in a- in a different world. Something like that. Different time. Oh, man. And, uh, Laura? You changed the world. Oh, God. She's gonna be like, what are you talking about? You're crazy. You're crazy! I'm gonna go now. And leave you in the woods. Oh, God. How many Easter eggs did you catch? None. Okay. Well, that was cool. Um, yeah, dude. Freaking time travel paradoxes are... Well, paradoxical, uh, I suppose. Anyway. Yeah, that was a cool map. So, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And, um, I guess we'll leave it off there. Make sure to like if you liked. Check the playlist in the description for more, uh, more maps and stuff. Subscribe for more videos and all that goodness. And, um... I'll see you next time. Time. In the same time timeline. Yeah, something like that. See ya.